Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at logging the query variables and the response body inside of our operations. To do that, let's do a quick refresher by heading to the monitoring tab. Again, we will click to enable that. It's the once per session click we must do. And we will head to the operations tab here. Finishing our round trip. Okay, we'll head to operations. And from there, I'm gonna just uh, pull up one of these queries here. These are actually uh, from the uh, admin interface. So let me go ahead and switch my filter to viewing the last uh, 24 hours so that we can see some queries from yesterday. So here I have a query, we'll, ha we'll inspect that. We can see here that we just see the standard data we would expect uh, from, from the operations uh, video. But we wanna see potentially what the query variables might be. We wanna be able to uh, to check if there were any null or empty responses. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and come up to this cog wheel here and turn on both the response body settings as well as the query variable settings. And when we head over to our API Explorer again, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and just create a quick named query here. So I'm gonna do a query, uh, we'll call this one the um, get colors query and this is going to be looking for, let me, um, I'm gonna actually do the get, I'm gonna call this get palette. And I'm gonna name this uh, the palette name here. And when we do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, go ahead and get all the palettes where the name is going to be um, equaling the name of my palette name. Great. And then we'll just inspect the actual name of that palette, the colors inside of the uh, palette, uh, palette colors, uh, colors, yes, yeah, so it was a, a join table, and then the name of the color. Now what I need to do here is be able to uh, provide a variable here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this here. We'll just go ahead and say palette name. Uh, just give it a little help here. And I'm gonna call this the RGB value. Oh, and the reason why it's not giving me the auto uh, hint here is because I did not provide the type. Okay, so what we have here is the value we're looking for. We have the string. We have the palette name, which should be RGB and we will go ahead and run that. I believe that I did that all correct from memory. Looks accurate. So we have a query here. Where we're passing in query variables. Uh, great. So we're gonna head over to the monitoring tab again, uh, hop over to our operations, and we will see this query here now. So even it has the operation name, it has the type, all that kind of uh, information. Let's inspect that one more time here. And now we actually see the query variables that were passed in with this query. And what, where this becomes really helpful is if you look down here inside of the empty arrays and uh, nulls in response, this shows up with standard uh, queries as well, but it will always be empty when you're doing the, uh, when you're not logging the body response. What will happen here for logging body response is if there's actually a uh, null response or an empty response, then that will actually show up and that helps us sort of do an assessment on our, our data set integrity to say with these given parameter inputs, we're returning zero responses. And that helps you figure out, am I missing a part of my data set? Is did something get corrupted? Uh, maybe I need to expand my data set in one place or another. And that really helps you do a lot more deep dive analysis on the actual health of your, your the data integrity itself. Uh, it's a very valuable tool. We have a number of large customers using this in production today already, and it's just part of the Hazura Cloud monitoring offerings. So uh, definitely check it out. Let us know what you think, and we'll catch you in the next video for more advanced features of Hazura Cloud.